Hello YouTube. Just sitting out in one of my other sitting spots in the garden. I have two in the garden, one on the balcony and the uh, winter one in the cellar is officially now retired as spring has begun. My lawn is now ventriculated, pulled out all the moss, put a little bit of wee, uh, moss killer down and uh, just going to let it breathe now and warm up and then I'll put the seed in the patches towards the end of March you know when uh, the, the warmth is sustained because uh, I don't want to do it before then. The builders have been going gung-ho here but it's their job you know on the uh, on the road here putting new water channels in and everything. We're still having to go up there, but I think hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. Well, welcome to the first video, what I call the tobacconists. So the little tobacco shops around the world. For me, it's mostly United States and uh, a few here in Switzerland that I've been using who uh, do their own blends and some are well renowned in America. The uh, first one in the series is LJ Peretti. And the first one of his five, I'll just show you a photo now of uh, all five of them. Is the Black Virginia. Trying to enjoy a bit of baroque between the uh, chainsaw work over there. Well, it's described as a ribbon and I think there you can see how it looks in my makeshift paper tray. Four paper clips and a piece of A4 paper and you can make a little tray. <laughs> my leather one is full of tampers as you can imagine because I collect so many. Not a lot to see on the tobacco itself because uh, it's very dark brown when it's dried a bit like now or almost black when it's uh, moist and it's described as uh, Virginia but of course it's black Cavendish. So this black Virginia is uh, got vanilla topping and a bit of bourbon. Smoking it in a cob. Some have said this might ghost, but I smoke so many. Oi, you lot! The birds are all going mad. It's the sparrows, you know, they always have these uh, territory fights. I mean, there's so much room out there, you wouldn't think they'd bother. But... So, uh, some say, you know, they ghost. Actually, I, I smoke so many aromatics, I've decided I'm not going to actually mark my pipes aromatic or English blend or Latakia because I don't care if there's a bit of sweetness left over from the last one. I love sweet things anyway. But I thought I'd break out a cob because I like cobs in good weather, summer and spring, whatever, autumn. Country Gentleman, my favourite, because of this lovely darkened barrel. There is only one to buy, Missouri Meerschaum. And I've actually got the 6mm Parisa filters in it. This is what the, uh, the cannabis boys use, I think. But these are active charcoal six millimeter actually designed for smoking sort of roll your own cigarettes and things like that but um, 
or uh, cannabis pipes that they fit perfectly in six millimeter pipes. Actually, I find these Parisa ones are the very best ones to use. Giza also is a make uh, producing these, but these ones fit every pipe from their width and they're coconut charcoal, so very good absorbance. And I'm also at the bottom of the bowl here using a Shero pad, which is a chalk pad to absorb the moisture because a lot of aromatics do come a bit wet. This particular one now is dried out nicely in that tray, so I didn't really need the pad, but I put it in there anyway. New lighter, a Zippo Dragonfire. At the moment, I've just got the regular, uh, the regular insert. I'm trying to find a gas insert for pipes to put in there, but this actually works not bad. And you see the teeth snap nicely down. It's actually very attractive. There's a guy out there, I'll put a, a link, Mr. Zippo or something like that, and he's got like 600 Zippos and it's incredible. But you learn a lot, there's many more Zippos than I ever dreamed out there, you know, so I started collecting a few more. And they do burn well in the wind, you know, a lot of other lighters don't take much wind to blow them out. Um, Zippos, you've got to hand it to them, you know, really good. So I've smoked about five bowls of this over the last couple of three days. LJ Peretti. Firstly, shout out and thanks to John Laughlin who made me aware they're out there and he spoke very, very highly of all their blends and I have a very, very good first impression of LJ Peretti. And based on this one that I've tried now, So it came pretty moist, but I do find some aromatics, you can almost put them in the pipe, char light them and they're off, even though they're moist. So I think it just depends how much you need to dry each one, you know, and some of them, they're quite moist and they still seem to burn pretty good, you know. Ribbon cut, I suppose you would call that a kind of ribbon cut, yeah and black cavendish very strong packet note at least i've only got these samples here to try but they are you know boom vanilla beautiful bourbon vanilla you know but bourbon in the sense of a rich vanilla and you know around the edges you're picking up a bit of that bourbon so it's always a good start Wife tells me the room note is lovely. Another good plus. Well, what about the taste? I mean, it's um, it's very smooth. It's creamy, actually. It's got a nice creamy sweetness to it. Uh, you definitely pick up the vanilla, vanilla, you're picking up almost kind of caramelly, what I would call a toasted vanilla, but there's a little caramelly around the edges there. I might have to refill this. Time for a refill. While I'm doing that, I had my uh, pneumonia shot this morning. Talked with the doctor and she says I'm dead right. It is a good idea. Bad news was that in Switzerland they've decided only 65 people at 65 can take it on their um, insurance, you know, automatically. I said I'll pay for it then. I think it was about 
90, $90 or something like that, but that 95 francs or something. Worth the money. So it basically puts your, uh, your lung uh, immune system on alert, you know. Uh, she said that you can give this to babies, so it's not going to have side effects. It's a bit of a bump hit when you feel it, but it won't make you feel like you've got flu or give you any symptoms. Pneumococcus, I think they call it. In one of my earlier videos, I put the link to the uh, epidemiologist who said, look, this is a good idea, you know, because it's, it's when it goes for your lungs is where you've got the problem. The rest you'll survive uh, pretty easily. Mm. I just love the vanilla coming in, in through, through here. Very easy to light. You, you, you can char light it and it will go. Just puff on it, let it, let it set. That's it. Don't need a relight. Maybe just towards the end, if I stop talking or something, then I need to relight. But otherwise, it's very moderate relight. Almost no res residue. Okay, I've got a sharrow pad. That's good thing is that tends to take up residue if there is any. Another plus of those sharrow pads. Um, but I think there's very little with this tobacco. It's not sticky or anything. Now it's dried out a bit. It's really, you know, you don't feel it's been overly topped or caged. And I think it, you'd have to push this very hard to bite yourself. You just smoke it normally, it won't bite. It's a sort of, um, sort of blend you could tinker with. You could add a little bit of Carter Hall to it or a little bit of Burley to put a bit of nuttiness in there if you like. You could do things with it. So got 3.5 on tobacco reviews. And um, I definitely think it's an excellent one. You know, my favorite is Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic. Let's say that's four. I certainly give this a three from my particular perspective. Which in words is very good, you know. So I'm looking forward to number two tomorrow. I've got five of them. Plus, my doctor said I was bang on about UV lamps. She said, in fact, in hospitals, they've got big, big ones, quite expensive, and they can irradiate a whole ward for like an hour and you're done. Why the hell aren't we using these everywhere? You could go down the streets and just tell everyone, you know, close your eyes for a minute and we could bomb this thing out of existence with ultraviolet light. I'm sure that's how summer does it. The other thing is all the leaves breathe and they clean the air, don't we know that? You know, you, everybody knows you live in the countryside, good air because the, the plants take the pollutants out. And I think they, they help to clean these viruses up. You know, I totally, I, I start to look at these Zippos and I, I, you know, I had to buy two or three and I'll show, show you when, when they arrive, but uh, there's some really cool Zippos out there. Have another look, you wouldn't believe. There's gold plated ones, you know. Uh, yeah, they cost more of course, but they're only gold plated, so it's, you know, save up a bit, you can get one of those. And there's some brass ones. There's one called an Armour, so it's it's thicker, a bit heavier, you know, brass. 
and polished brass looks like gold anyway so if you want to you know buy it a little less expensive look on ebay and look around and sometimes you can see i found a couple of nice deals on the gold one that have been marked down about 30 percent maybe it's 30 percent more than the the armor brass one i got which i got a very nice engraved one But they're not crazy prices, you know, not like five hundred dollars, and maybe um, sort of between fifty and a hundred, or you know, I mean, not cheap, of course, but uh, you know, and they look so good, you know. It's just a joy. This really is. L. J. Peretti. If I ever get to Boston again, I hope I do. Wonderful city especially if you like lobster, that whole coast up there. Go to those little uh, ports up there, pick a little sort of smaller restaurant, get a nice pound lobster, two pound lobster if you can. Oh, exquisite. Mm. Biggest one I've had was a five pound lobster. We probably shared it between you know, three or four of us, but it was monster this thing you know in a portuguese restaurant in newark there's a, a lot of portuguese people have settled there and they are the best you know the best affordable fish restaurants you get top ones in manhattan of course but you know uh sort of for the average bloke you can go there with your family and afford it you know really good Okay, well, look, you know, all my knowledge is from the 90s, you know, up to about 95, and um, so much things have, must have changed, especially in America, fast-moving pace of change, so I don't know if it's all still like that. A lovely trip planned for uh, New York, whole 10 days. Booked the restaurant Sparks Steakhouse. Bloody expensive, but the finest of fine. Can't beat American aged beef because you know, they age it and age it. It's actually, you can't, it's not legal here in Switzerland to age it that long, but that's the way to do it. The enzymes soften it and enrich the taste and you get a decent sized steak there. First steak I had in America was in a diner. It was by American standards, quite ordinary, but I took a picture of it. I couldn't believe it. This thing was almost off the plate, you know? I thought, God, only in America. Wonderful. The best one I ever had was Kansas City. Anyway, I was looking forward to that. Had a, a stay at the Yale Club, all set and everything. Um, and then this came along, you know, what are you going to do? So now my holiday is uh, Balconia, which is the balcony or, or Gardenia in the garden, you know. It's all right. It's not bad, is it, you know? Oh, I forgot to mention. Lemon iced tea I'm having with this. Just perfect on an afternoon like this. You could actually, this stuff is so good, you could put a bit of vodka in here or a bit of gin, and there's your, uh, you know, your iced tea cocktail. Well, all right, my reviews will not be too deep, you know, but. Um, But I will have smoked about three, four, five bowls. I think it's the first cob I've had for months and months and months, you know. It's winter, I tend not to smoke them over winter. All right then, YouTube, well, thanks for looking in and uh, my wife is just about to wander over here. Hello dear. So I'll say cheerio. 
You met my wife, it's my wife Sylvia. Hello. Yeah. And uh, talk to you soon about the next LJ Peretti blend. Take care everyone and keep safe.